human experience. It's all part of your makeup, your identity, your DNA. And basically, you're kind of, it's like a pressure cooker. You're packing in all these things, and it's going to explode one day. You don't know how it's going to explode. You don't know where it's going to explode. You don't know who's going to be around or what's going to happen. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. Hey guys, Rafi Ponsker here. Um, I wanted to share a little bit, talk a little about, about feelings. Uh, the human experience of feeling. I think we get caught up with the day-to-day -day activities and stresses and what we're meant to do, what are, what's expected from us as responsible fathers, husbands, employees, employers. Whatever our job is, whatever our task is, we get caught up with that. But what we forget is we forget the human experience of feeling. We have to know that whatever, we have to be aware of our feelings, know what they are. It could be joy, it could be happiness, it could be anxiety, frustration, sadness, anger, it doesn't matter what it is. But we have to be aware of it. And we have to feel that feeling and give it space. Because if you're not, we're cutting off part of the human experience. Because we, we as humans are made up of all of these things. We're made up of all of these feelings. We're not supposed to be happy all the time. We're supposed to be angry all the time. The word supposed to should be taken out of the, at least the emotional health dictionary because we've only created this blockage um, as we got older. Meaning, if you think about an infant or, an, or even a toddler or a one-year-old, two-year-old, they can fall, hurt themselves, be crying their head off. They're in that feeling of anger or frustration or sadness. And then after they're done crying, start giggling about something right away and step into a space of joy. And then you can walk in and you haven't seen them all day from work and they have a sense of excitement right away. And then they can have a dirty diaper and be crying right away because of discomfort. And they flow through emotions. They feel them and they move through them. They don't get stuck in them, but they, they feel them. That's the healthiest way to be. As we get older, due to our upbringing or different things that are modeled for us or stories we've told ourselves, we've disconnected from feelings. We don't let ourselves feel the things we want to feel. So we say, oh, I'm feeling frustrated. I don't want to feel that. I don't like that. So I disconnect from it. Now that works temporarily, but what happens is you're bottling up all these different feelings. You're, 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 you're not expressing and sharing and letting yourself feel these, these human experiences. It's all part of your makeup, your identity, your DNA. And basically you're kind of, it's like a pressure cooker. You're packing in all these things and it's gonna explode one day. You don't know how it's gonna explode. You don't know where it's gonna explode. You don't know who's gonna be around or what's gonna happen. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. Just know what's going on for you. Be aware of that. Label it if you'd like, identify it. Share with someone you trust. And then make a decision of where you'd like to be and how you wanna show up. And then once you do that, you'll be in a lot better space. Try that out, guys. Stay grateful.